you ever wondered what is the best Castile soap to use and buy? Or maybe you're wondering, is it antibacterial, safe and effective? Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Green. In this video, I'm gonna be answering all of those questions and I'm going to be reviewing five different Castile soaps. I'm also going to be talking about different ways that I've used them in my everyday life. Now, for those big questions, it's not antibacterial, but it's even more safe and just as effective as antibacterial soaps. The reason is antibacterial soaps have toxic chemicals and they wash away good bacteria that our bodies need. We have a video, our ninth eco challenge, that talks all about toxic chemicals in everyday products we use. We encourage you to watch that video because it's going to help you shop and read labels for safe products. The FDA even recommends that regular soap and water, like Castile soap, is just as effective for killing and washing away disease-causing germs. So yes, to answer those questions, it is safe, it is effective, and it's a much better option than an antibacterial soap. I have used Castile soap for all different things in my life. I like to use it as a surface cleaner for cleaning my everyday surfaces. I like to put a few drops of essential oils and sometimes some lemon peels in it for that nice clean smell. I like to use it for a fruit and veggie wash. I like to use it as a laundry detergent. I was using it for over a year as a shampoo with a vinegar conditioner rinse. I am switching to pros for personal reasons, which I will get into on a different review video for the product pros. I also use it in all of my hand soap dispensers around my apartment, and I even use it for hand washing my dishes. Dr. Bronner's has 18 different uses for Castile soap, from washing your pets to brushing your teeth. Dr. Bronner's has a cheat sheet on their bar soap and on their liquid soap. I encourage you to look at this cheat sheet because it does give you the proper dilutions and the proper way to mix your water with your Castile soap. Castile soap is a very safe, sustainable, and eco-friendly option for soaps because it doesn't have those toxic chemicals. We're not putting those back into our waterways, into our soils, and into our oceans. And that means we're not harming our marine life and all of our animals and our plants on this wonderful earth. Now, I know most of the liquid brands, they do come in a plastic container, at least for me, all of the liquid brands that I found. So your best option if you want a liquid brand is to try to find a refill store. This first brand, La Almona, which is my least favorite, and the reason is because not all of the ingredients are organic. Another thing is, on their website, it doesn't mention or indicate that their ingredients are sustainably sourced or where their workers are working or how they're getting paid. Now, one good thing is it does come in a number two plastic container, which is one of the most commonly recycled plastics. Vermont Soap Company, which is an awesome brand and an awesome company with great values. They've even worked with African countries to improve quality shea butter for international export, and they support local Vermont jobs. All of their ingredients are 100% natural and organic plant seed oils, and all of their containers are BPA free, and they use the safest and most easily recycled plastics. Dr. Bronner's has had a great reputation for a really long time. They use the purest organic fair trade ingredients. They use 100% post-consumer recycled packaging. They fight for and financially support companies they believe in. They treat their employees and they're fair to their suppliers. And they work hard at treating the earth like their home. La Almona, 
I find to be the least concentrated and it also seems to set up the least which means it doesn't seem to scrub as well now it doesn't dry my skin out as much as dr bronner's it runs around 40 dollars for a gallon the vermont soap i find to be between the la alumna and dr bronner's when it comes to the concentration and how much it suds up in the water I did buy this from the package free shop. It's $56 for one gallon and you get free shipping on US orders over $35. I find Dr. Bronner's to be the most concentrated and it suds up the most. Now for me, it dries out my skin a lot. So it's so important that you dilute, dilute, dilute as their cheat sheets would say. Another great thing is it's easy to find in stores such as Whole Foods and Fresh Market, but it is on the more expensive side at $58 for a gallon. For the Castile Bar Soaps, I tested Crate 61, which is a company based in Toronto, Canada, and Dr. Bronner's. For the Crate 61 bar, it's about $3.79, and since it's shipping from overseas, it will be a little bit more expensive. They do say on their website that free shipping over $50 or more, but I'm not sure if that's international. And the Dr. Bronner's is about $4.70, and that can be found in most stores like Whole Foods and Fresh Market. I decided to try to liquefy half of a bar for each brand. I use the same ratio as Dr. Bronner's suggests, one bar to four cups of water. I grated both bars into the water, brought the water to a simmer, and stirred until the bar disintegrated. I found that it took almost double the time to dissolve the Crate 61 bar as the Dr. Bronner's bar. Also, for the Crate 61 bar, a lot of the water evaporated, and I was left with about half of the liquid as I started with. And as you can see, the Dr. Bronner's bar didn't really become a liquid, it became more of a paste. I really enjoyed both brands for the Bar Castile Soap. As mentioned before, Dr. Bronner's has great morals and values, and so does Crate 61. They work hard to source their most premium natural organic ingredients and knowing where they come from. Another thing that I love about this company is they work hard at shipping and packaging plastic free and when they must use plastic, they use plastics that have been repurposed from the ocean. Both bars of Castile Soap use all natural, high quality, biodegradable and sustainably sourced ingredients. For now on, I'm only going to be buying the bars because they don't come in any plastic and I can make them into a high quality liquid soap. I really enjoyed using both brands of the Bar Castile Soap. I found that the Crate 61 bar doesn't set up as much, so the Dr. Bronner's bar seems to be a better option for household cleaning purposes. I also found that the Crate 61 bar is a better and more nourishing option to use on my skin because it doesn't dry it out as much. And this is probably because the only ingredient is olive oil. I'm sure you can add a high quality castor or olive oil or coconut oil to the Dr. Bronner's bar soap when you're liquefying it, but I haven't tried that yet. If you have, I would love to hear your experience in the comments below. I have provided all of the links for everything that I have suggested below, so please make sure you check it out and do your own research. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you never miss a future video. We have all sorts of videos on our channel and they're very educational and we give a lot of facts and we do a lot of research behind the scenes. So if you have some time today, please go ahead and check them out. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support and see you next time.